because I would like to move towards why inner product is important. Why inner product? Why it's important? So let's start with. When you open your, for example, high school books, there is a huge portion on geometry. Within geometry, there is a huge amount of emphasis on trigonometry. Why trigonometry? Why not theory of rectangles or pentagons and hexagons? You will not see the theorems about pentagons and hexagons and why triangles? Why triangles are So if you, for example, if you have the space of all polygons, okay, then, then the triangles would, would serve like a basis of that because all of the, no matter what polygon you take, um, you know, if it is a polygon, You can always do the triangulation of that. Okay. You can always do triangulation of it. You can always break it into the triangles. That's what makes it. So you want to compute the area of this polygon. So you can compute the area of the triangles and the area. So no matter what information you want about the polygons, you can fetch it from the triangles. So that's what makes triangles important and that, that, that's why there is so much emphasis on trigonometry, not on anything else. But even within trigonometry, there is a lot of inference and uh, what do you call emphasis on right angle triangles. Why right angle triangles? Give me a sorry triangles in the Sin theta, cos theta, and the theta. So, why there is so much emphasis on only right angle triangles? Right angle triangles. So, triangles can be based. No matter what triangle you can, you take a cute angle or cute angle, you can always break it in the terms of. You can always break it in the terms of right angle triangle. So within triangles, therefore the right angle triangles are important. Law of science, co science, the triangles is You can drive all this from what you call right angle triangles. And what is the main result in right angle triangles? of right angle. And everything about that. So you can know everything about every single thing about the right angle triangles from the Pythagorean theorem. Hmm? Okay. If you have this x, y, and z, then z is really the square of the magnitude of z square is. Okay. Every single thing. There will be one result which, which we can't drive from here. Trigonometry may that you can't drive from here. Every single thing can be driven. Sorry, formula about the right angle triangles, you can drive it from. You can start from here and okay. Are you the point? triangles concept. Let us want to make you realize that 
why all this is stuff is really interesting. Okay, then. is it making sense? Even within this triangles, and within this identity, there is something. So if you want to, a fourth karma, you are living on a. So imagine we are living on a, you know, spherical space. We are indeed living on a sphere, not a perfect sphere, but we can approximate it with a sphere. So we're living in a sphere, right? Okay. So imagine you want to develop a theory of polygons on spheres. So from where would you start? At? ये ये जितना भी है, so all this is stuff. This is stuff is about the plane. Therefore, you call it a plane geometry. हाँ, तभी आप इसे plane geometry कहते हैं. But imagine you are we are living on a you know some kind of a spherical space. Or maybe imagine we are living on on, on a donut. Who knows? Yeah, universe is a is a donut. And I want to build a theory of triangles, the theory of polygons are doing the geometry okay, on the what do you call it? And, 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 and all this stuff is not just limited to regular or maybe the polygons actually. Even you can take for example, you know, a nonlinear picture. So you have learned it in your calculus course. For example, I hope you have, you have, you have learned this in calculus three. That is still, this could be understood through the triangles as well. Why? Because you can create a match actually. You can approximate all of this stuff through what you call okay? rectangles. You can always so you can create small rectangles and view their areas and sum them up and you get the area of the nonlinear picture. So again you are getting back to rectangles and if rectangles you have the triangles. So triangles are foundation. So in plane if you are doing any kind of geometry the triangles could be the beginning point and hence the Pythagorean theorem could be the beginning point. So if I want to do the geometry on torus, I want to develop a theory of you know, areas and triangles and polygons on what do you call on sphere or on a donut or on a, on a you know some uh, you know pringle type shape or whatever. Yeah, something like that. So I want to do geometry here. कहाँ से स्टार्ट करूँ? और सी अच्छा यहाँ कैसे स्टार्ट? यहाँ स्टार्ट की थी पाथागोरियन थ्योरम्स। But even to define पाथागोरियन थ्योरम, you you need some tools. Tools क्या हैं? वो कौन से टूल्स हैं? नहीं नहीं ये if you want to make sense of Lens. We need notion of lens. So once you have the notion of lens, you have the you can write the Pythagorean theorem. You can have the theory of triangles. You can have the theory of polygons and everything in the terms of triangles. So if you want, for example, if you want to geometry do geometry here. The first thing that you need is the notion of length actually. You should have length. So if you have length, you can think of, okay, can I think of now spherical, you know, triangles or you know, the spherical version of Pythagorean theorem, spherical rectangles, and so on and so forth. That's it. So you need the notion of length. I said there is something even more elementary than the notion of length. Length भी कहीं से आती है। कहाँ से? ये चीज़ है। I'm pretty much sure you know it actually. 
लेंथ भी कहीं से आती है तो आई हैव अ वेक्टर दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स इसको मैं कहीं से बरामद कर सकता हूं किसी और चीज से समथिंग इन मोर एलिमेंट सम ऑफ पॉइंट्स पहले स्क्वायर फुट कर दूं अब डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस बी Space of matrices and space of operators. 
two geometry there, you need an upper, you need notion of length, you need topology, you need the notion of size actually. So once you have this, you can start doing what you did in real numbers actually. That will see again or not. Okay? Is it making sense? So let's define in the product spaces in a more uh, concrete manner. So my definitions that I am going to propose now and onward are not going to be dimension dependent. Both on you or Thank you. 